today on Be Something Wonderful, how your imaginal acts create reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I heard from a new subscriber that said, Tom, I've been, uh, I've been trying to get pregnant now for almost two years. And, and both me and my husband have been to doctors and they're saying there's no reason why we, we shouldn't be pregnant. There's no medical reason why we shouldn't be pregnant. So I know it's in my head. And I've been imagining this wish fulfilled of being pregnant now for several months. And I, and I believe I've been feeling it, but, but I'm just wondering what's going on here. Well, guys, we're gonna unpack this today and more. Here's what I wanna say. Whether it's, it's to get pregnant, attract an SP into your life, to be with an SP, to, to, to have a bag of money, to have wealth, whatever the desire is, a house, a promotion, whatever it is, the desire itself, hear this, is in, is all contained in the feeling of fulfillment. Hear this carefully. So while you're focused on the, 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 the desire of getting pregnant or, or you're focused on getting an SP or you're focused on getting a bag of money, what you really want to be focused on is the feeling of fulfillment because that bag of money, that pregnancy, having a family, having that house, having that job is all already, all already contained within that feeling of fulfillment. Everything's already in there. You just gotta go for the feeling of wish fulfilled. So instead of trying to imagine yourself pregnant and then looking and feeling like you're not pregnant, what does it feel like to be holding a baby in your arms? What's the joy? You can be pregnant with that joy, with that love, with the, looking down at that baby, you and your husband together admiring it. Right, because that's really your wish. That's what you really want. Go for that feeling. I'm getting shivers just thinking about holding a baby. <laughs> I got a little, I got goosebumps just saying that. That's what we're talking about. Let's unpack this idea of the imaginal act like we've never unpacked it before. So remember, you change the reality that you see in the outer world as you perceive the reality that lies beneath it. It's always, always the reality that lies beneath it. You're never gonna get it by looking in the outside world. That's how I wanna start this, right? It's that reality, that true reality that lies beneath all of this changing 3D circumstances or any reality, right? So what you perceive or feel within, you perceive or see without. It's the feeling place. And remember, within that feeling of wish fulfilled is everything you want. You don't have to hold tightly to the desire itself. Do you hear this? You don't have to strangle that desire and hold on to it so tightly that you're choking it because it already exists. It's within the feeling. It's contained within the feeling of the wish fulfilled. That's why the imaginal act is an inner perception of your desired reality or wish fulfilled. Imaginal acts are that inner perception right? That's that feeling, that inner perception. It's a way of tuning in to the frequency of your desired reality. That's what the imaginal act is. It's like tuning in on a radio or a TV. You're getting into the program that you want, that you desire. That's big. Let's, let's take this layer by layer today. Remember that while 3D reality is called an illusion, it's caused by that greater reality that lies beneath it. So it's, it's a pretty, it's an, maybe it's an illusion. It, it's an illusion, okay, but it, there's a reality underneath it that's very real. So this illusion is just as real as any other reality. Hear it. So, don't, so love the 3D because underneath it is everything you want, is, is consciousness. But even beyond that consciousness, remember, consciousness is the way you project your inner reality, your inner reality. That's what consciousness is. And then you see it through the eyes of your 3D senses, that inner reality, right? So there's even something behind that consciousness. That's that intelligence. That's your soul, even behind your soul, yes, is all consciousness, but it's not just consciousness, right? When you focus more on your inner reality than your outer reality, you begin to have create, creative control of your life and the world around you. 
This is big. It's that, it's that inner reality focus. You are more than consciousness. You're not just conscious. Consciousness is your mechanism to project that inner dream, to project that inner reality that, you have, that you're imagining. Remember, you're always imagining something. It's not just a formal, formal, imaginal act that you do as, as you're dropping off to sleep. You're imagining all day long, all the time. And you're projecting that, those imaginal and mental acts in those thoughts and feelings with them on, into 3D reality. But what happens? As you do that, you begin to immediately judge them and interpret them. So you're changing reality as you're creating it. Do you hear this? Right? If you, if you just persisted in that imagined desire and what you really want, without judging it and trying to interpret it as, it as it's getting manifested, you would be surprised and delighted with your wish fulfilled, right? Remember, an imaginal act is simply a mental act, a mental act of focusing your consciousness on your desired end, right? Mental, a mental act is made of thought and emotion. And, and when I say thought and emotions, I'm not talking about the emotions and feelings that you get swept up with in 3D reality. Someone says something to you, you hear some bad news. Those are changing emotions. I'm talking about that love behind it. And you only have two choices. Either you feel that love behind it or you feel fear. Everything else then manifests according to that, right? So it's those thoughts and emotions and there's, there's only love. But if you're not feeling love, then you're feeling fear or some manifestation of it, right? It's of that focus your consciousness, and that's how it gets materialized in physical matter. That's why the things that are, those thoughts that are imbued with love create the things that you really want. Those thoughts that are imbued with fear create the unwanted realities. But you're always creating reality. Let's take it another layer deep. Just as your eyes and vision can be focused to perceive the stuff of the outer world, your consciousness is a tool, like your eyes, is a mechanism used to perceive that inner reality. It's this focus of consciousness that creates the inner event that then becomes an outer reality. You're creating the inner event. You've got to, you've got to make, you've got to now focus on everything is, is about the inner event, the inner manifestation, streaming that consciousness on what you want. And this is big. Know that your imaginal or mental acts, thoughts plus emotion, are the main event. That's big, right? Know that your imaginal act, your mental imaginal acts, that thought plus emotion, and I'm not talking about that, 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 just that 3D emotion. I'm talking about a much, remember, emo, emotion is just energy, right? It's, and what is it really? It's energy, it's, in, it's intense energy. Emotion really is energy in motion, but it gives it a certain intensity. That's what you're adding to the thought. You're adding that energy intensity to it. That's what creates reality. So I'm not talking about anger or frustration or, 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 even, uh, or even being excited. All that's good and all those 3D emotions are good. I'm talking about the energy when I talk about thought plus emotion. It's thought plus energy, right? That energy in motion, the, the, that energy in that inner reality, right? Hear this, right? When you begin to embrace them for the magic and brilliance that they are without wanting, needing, and having to see them manifested in reality, you are fully allowing source to flow through you. Here it is, that energy, that energy that, that, that we call emotion, is, is in, in, in that, that it's about intensifying it, adding that to the thought, when you, when you just do that for the inner manifestation, for that inner feeling, and, and revel in that, then it must outpicture and manifest in 3D reality. Do you get me here, guys? Let's unpack this a little bit more. This is big. Your focused consciousness, your imaginal and mental acts, your thoughts and emotions are constantly materializing in 3D reality as 3D reality. Really, <laughs> right? Hear this again, your focused consciousness, your imaginal and mental acts, whether, they're, whether you're, you're, you're consciously imagining or unconsciously imagining, your thoughts and emotions are constantly materializing 3D reality as 3D reality. So 
but so but it's your it's how you interpret how you react how you judge and how you see those mental events as they are forming that determines how they how you will perceive and receive them in 3d i pointed to this earlier right so they're forming as you have this emotion with these thoughts they're forming already they're always forming but it's your interpretation your judgment while they're forming that creates those realities that you don't want normally right because because if you judged everything is good if you didn't react if you embraced everything every outcome as it's come as it's unfolding then it will form into your desired reality your wish fulfilled one of you wrote on the channel that you said that you said i i, I think i failed i i, I wanted I, I imagined a certain meeting and a certain phone call and it didn't happen like that and now I, I just feel like I've filled with my manifestation. You just, what you did is just collapse the wave and you created that failure. There is no failure. 3D reality is always in a changing state. Consciousness is always moving and changing and forming. And so it's how you judge it and how you react to it that determines the finality of your wish fulfilled and what you will end up with, what the outcome will be. Right? And that outcome can change again and again as you change your state of being. It's all created right now. Wow. So remember, you put this stuff through your rigid 3D filters, right? Instead of letting the, instead of letting the miracle happen, right? When you put these cosmic events through, through 3D filters, right? You put, these are cosmic events. These mental and imaginal acts are cosmic, right? But yet you're putting them through these filters and saying, I failed. Because it, because, you're judge, because it didn't meet your preconceived notions of what should have happened. When it's very well that that event is leading you to your wish fulfilled. What, it, it, there is, it, there are, no facts are final. No manifestation is final. It's all, 3D reality is constantly changing and forming to your inner state. Do you hear this? So you put these cosmic events through your 3D filters, the beliefs, assumptions, expectations, and only end up seeing what you believe you can see. You filter the miracle and create what agrees to your knowing or what agrees to your assumptions or what agrees to your concept of yourself. That's big. Let's, unfold, let's unpack this a little bit more. I just want to say, be kind to 3D reality in the world around you, in your body too. Remember, all of that, all of it is simply an extension of yourself. Hear this. All of it, all that you see, all those events that you judge as failures or, or, or field manifestations or unwanted events, they're all an extent, extension of you. Your imaginal and mental acts extended and projected from your consciousness. Be kind to all of it. Love it all. Right? Because it changes in the moment when you love it. Right? And this is what Seth and Jane Roberts said. Each emotion and thought has its own electromagnetic reality. Completely unique. Highly equipped to combine with certain others according to the various ranges of intensity that you may include. Hear this. I love this word intensity. What are they getting at? Because Neville got it. I'm going to talk about Neville got it in a few minutes when he talks about intensity of your imaginal act or the intensity of the, the feeling of wish fulfilled. What does that intensity really mean? What's the feeling that we're really getting at? It's that feeling. It's energy. That's what we call emotion. Right? Emotion is just energy and it's pure positive energy unless we put it through a filter of negativity or negative beliefs or negative assumptions. Do you hear this? A negative thoughts, right? That's energy. That intensity is, is the energy that you imbue into those thoughts. Wow, that's big. So emotions and feelings are really just an intensity of that one energy of source. Wow. And you're going to have various intensities. But that's what Neville was pointing at. That's what we mean by the feeling of wish fulfilled. It's that emotion, which is energy, which fills you with that, with, which you combined with that thought of your wish fulfilled, and you create the reality, the real reality of your wish fulfilled. Remember, a lot of times we're focused on, um, uh, we believe that, uh, that, we, that we, we imagine, say this, you imagine yourself pregnant or you imagine that you're with your SP 
or you imagine you have a bag of money in your hand and you're saying, well, Tom, I feel good when I imagine that. But hear this, hear this. It's not necessarily about feeling good. Feeling good is an attribute. It's an after effect of the wish fulfilled. You got to feel good, meaning you got to feel uh, fulfilled going into it. But hear this, what you really want to go for is does it feel real, right? Of course it feels good because even if you go into your imaginal act, you, you can't go into an imaginal act. You can't create something not feeling good. You can't create something that you want not feeling good. So feeling good, feeling fulfilled is a prerequisite. Right? Well-being is a prerequisite of creating your desired reality. So that's not really the focus. The focus is, does it feel real? Because I know you feel good, right? But does it feel real? So sometimes we get lost and say, well, I felt good, so it must be creating. But if it doesn't feel real, if you're just looking at it like you're watching a movie, like you're watching yourself in a movie, you can say, hey, that, well, I'm a pretty good actor. That's cool. There I am with my SP. You feel good, but does it feel real? You've got to enter the scene. It's going to feel real to you because feeling good and well-being is a prerequisite, right? You got to start there. It's the feeling good and well-being is the beginning. It's the middle and it's the end. The, the real manifestation happens when it feels real to you, when it feels like a reality. I really wanted to hit that, right? So let's unpack this a little bit more. Remember that whatever you want, whether it's an SP, more money, a house, a promotion, new business, to get pregnant, a better life, all of it, all of it already is already inside the feeling of fulfillment. You don't have to focus on the SP, the money, the house, the promotion. You got to focus on the fulfillment, the feeling of fulfillment, the energy of fulfillment. Do you hear this? That's what you're going for. That's where it feels real. Because it never feels real when you're focused just when you're looking at just your SP or the money. It feels lack. It, does, it feels like you don't have it. You feel the absence of it. But when, you're, when, when you know that it's all, all of that is already contained within the feeling of fulfillment, you can go directly to fulfillment. Do you hear me on this? This is so big. Right? Here you are focused on the desire or the thing. Here you are. There's your SP. And, and so you feel a part. Your SP is apart from the fulfilled feeling or the feeling of fulfillment. You got to know that your SP is within that feeling. You don't have to focus here. You got to focus here. <laughs> right? If you focus here in your SP, you want to, your SP is already within that feeling of fulfillment. I know we feel like we have to keep the actual desire in our, in our, that image in our mind or in our head, but it's the fulfillment that you're going for, guys. When you are focused on the thing or desire that, that you want, you create a reality or a separation between your desire and the feeling of fulfillment, or in other words, between you and your desire. Right? There's a separation between your desire and the feeling of fulfillment because normally it's with that your desire is contained within there, but you're not allowing that to combine, right? So there's a separation between you and what you want. That's big. So let's hit it a little bit more. Okay, so I, I thought I had another drawing here. So when you're focused on fulfillment, here you are, you and your SP together. That's the feeling of fulfillment. Your SP is no longer outside of that feeling of fulfillment. Do you hear this, right? You, you, you being in an amazing, loving relationship, that's focused on the fulfillment. You're in an amazing, loving relationship. You're feeling that. You're no longer just looking at your desire and, and creating a state of not having it or a feeling of absence. You're, you're, you're in this feeling that you're in an amazing relationship. You're focusing on the fulfillment versus the thing or desire. This puts your desire or wish fulfilled inside the feeling of fulfillment. It's all inside that feeling of fulfillment. The power is in the implication, right? And remember, you, you said here, I tried everything and I'm still not pregnant. I've imagined I'm pregnant for, for months now. Instead, imagine that you're a proud new parent holding your baby for the first time. Wow! 
What is it? Again, I got goosebumps when I said that. So if I can feel that, wow, you really can feel that. Right? Remember, imagining your wish or desire keeps you in a state of non-fulfillment, seeing that you don't have it, right? Just imagine it. If you're imagining your, your wish, not your wish, I'm not talking about wish fulfilled, but your wish, or you're just imagining your desire, almost like a visualization, almost like watching a movie, that creates the lack. Right? You want to imagine the fulfillment of it, a scene that's a clear implication of the joy you will feel and feel it now. Just like I did, I got goosebumps. Feel it now. Right? Feeling of wish fulfilled is about the emotional intensity felt within the energy in motion. Hear this. Right? So we always go, what is feeling a wish fulfilled? Because, because Neville Goddard talks about faith is feeling. He talks about the intensity of the feeling. Well, that's what he's talking about. It's about the emotional intensity felt within the energy in motion. Not necessarily feelings. Feelings are fleeting. And remember, you can, you can, you can occupy a state of, of being a, a mother, or you can occupy a state uh, of having your own company. And, and, and in that state, you can feel all sorts of emotions and feelings, good ones and bad ones. So we're not talking about that. We're talking about the greater emotion, that energy in motion, of that intensity of that feeling fulfillment, not necessarily fleeting feelings of love or hate or happy or sad. Right, those lower level 3D feelings. Feelings are your 3D manifestation of these energetic events and mental acts within you. That's all feelings are. Those 3D feelings are just manifestations of, those more, of a more powerful event, hear this, that's happening within you. And then, because you feel that energy, you have a thought about it. And then you normally put it through a bogus thought filter that a, a negative assumption or a negative filter, and then that energy feels negative. But it's not, it's just energy emotion, and you're feeling these, that's what these energetic events that you feel within become feelings, become manifested in the outer world, in the 3D world as feelings, right? Source energy is only pure positive energy of love. It's about calling forth that energy as you imagine a scene that implies your fulfillment hear this, right? It's not about thinking really hard or imagining really hard your wish fulfilled, right? That keeps you separate from it. That keeps you focused on the desire. That keeps you focused on the lack. Instead, it's just calling forth that energy emotion, matching it to that, to that, to that thought of your wish fulfilled, imagining a scene that implies that fulfillment, and then boom, it must manifest. 3D reality must bend to your inner state. Right? So, so divine and human, this is what Neville Goddard says. I really wanted to get to this. Neville says divine and human imagination are not two, but one imagination, which differs only in degree of intensity. Wow. Hear this. Neville directly talks about intensity here. And here he's making the distinction between divine imagination, that a greater imagination of source energy, of God, creating the planets, creating the universe, creating us as, us as we split off from God. All of that was created by that divine imagination. You're one with that, and you only differ in degree of intensity. That's what he's pointing at when, he want, when you want to feel the intensity of wish fulfilled. The more you feel that intensity or that energy, that, that divine energy, the more, the more that, it will, that it will manifest in 3D reality. Do you hear this? It's in the intensity of that pure positive energy or emotion of love. Right? Remember, what's so powerful about that energy, that God energy? Love lacks nothing. Love wants for nothing. Love is whole and complete. Love is fulfillment. Hear this. That loving energy, that divine imagination that fuels the planets uh, and the earth, that keeps the earth spinning, that keeps your heart beating, that keeps your blood pumping, that does all that stuff without you having to do a thing or move a finger is all done out of divine love, out of that love. And it, it doesn't want anything in return. It lacks nothing. It's whole and complete. That's what fulfillment is. 
You lack nothing. You want for nothing. There's no quid pro quo. You already are it. You feel it. You, you feel no lack. Wish fulfilled is the human experience. Hear this. Is the human experience of feeling that divine love. Wow. Hear this again. Right? Based on what Neville got it saying here. Wish fulfilled is the human experience of feeling that divine love. That's why faith is feeling. Truth depends, here's what Neville says, truth depends upon the intensity of the imagination, not, on, not upon external facts. Again, the intensity of the imagination, the intensity of that energy that, 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 you, that, you're, that, you're, that you're feeling uh, flowing through you. Right, that feeling of wish fulfilled. That's big. So, so feeling good is the prerequisite. So it's not necessarily about feeling good, although you're gonna feel great, right? It's about feeling real. That's what you want. You want to go for the real feeling that 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 wish that wish feels real to you. That state of being feels real. That's what you're going for, right? Instead of imagining and trying to feel good. Because remember, you already feel good going into that imaginal act. If you didn't, you will, you, 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 you've got, you, you, you're starting out from a, from a state of lack, right? You've got to go from fulfillment to fulfillment, but it's, but it's really to focus on feeling real. Sometimes we get lost. And even if you, for some reason, something happens at work or something happens in your life and you have a down moment, Guys, that, in any state, any state, you're going to have those ups and downs. That's not going to prevent you or keep you from your wish fulfilled. What is? By it not feeling real to you. That's the only thing that keeps you in from your wish fulfilled, that it doesn't feel real, right? Not that you don't feel good every moment because it, it, that, that, that you're going to feel whatever you feel. The key is don't resist anything you're feeling. Don't resist any of those emotions. Right? Don't, don't dwell on them, don't resist them, and go for the feeling it real, feeling your wish fulfilled real, right? Watching a movie about you and your SP together may feel good, but it only feels real when you enter into the movie. Do you hear it? It may feel good, but it only feels real when you enter into it, right? When you become part of it, when you see, when you're looking through the eyes of that, that imaginal you. Right? Assumption of the feeling of wish fulfilled is effortless. It's effortless, right? We often, here's what Neville says, hear this. This is a big quote from Neville. We often are deprived of our high goal or our desires by our effort to possess it. He says it straight out here. You wanna, you're, you're so focused on possessing, becoming pregnant, possessing that SP, possessing that bag of money, that house, that job. You're so focused on that that that's what deprives you of actually having it. It's that effort to possess it. You need only to feel it real as your wish fulfilled. That's what you want to go there. A desire, here's what he says, a desire drenched in the feeling of fulfillment objectifies itself. Simple, powerful quotes by Neville. A desire drenched, drenched in the feeling of fulfillment objectifies itself, drenched in that loving energy, drenched in that feeling that it's real. That's what we're talking about. That's how your imaginal acts create reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Our website at TomCaron.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, great light, and great gratitude, see you soon.